What's up guys? Welcome to another episode. Today is going to be a little fun um, creek fishing video. Stay tuned and just keep watching this video, I guess. Alright guys, so just real quick to go over my setup. I got a uh, 1 8 ounce jig head neon yellow and a um, magic blue or something like that. Blue crawl, magic blue, magic crawl, something like that. Um, rage tail, strike king rage tail, um, crawl chunk. And I got my old trusty um, Shakespeare Ugly Stick Ultra Light. Every time I go to the creek, I usually bring this um, rod because it's just so fun to catch mama fish because you can literally feel every little tiny thing. But um, I'll get back to you guys if I catch a fish. So, a little update. I have decided to turn this into a vlog. So, I guess I'll just take you guys along with me the entire way instead of just like clicking it on and off. I still don't know how I'm going to fish and get fish. Um, fish catches and setting the hook and all that but uh, I guess I just have to figure that out on the way so this is my trusty little hole I went here last week and caught two smallmouth there's always smallmouth in here in like this little channel back here but um, you just stand on these rocks alright guys so there are three smallmouth literally right in front of me and then a catfish just picked up this crawl a catfish dead serious so I don't really know what's going on with this whole ecosystem in this water, but it is just absolutely crazy. And this water is like super shallow. It can't be more than um, a foot deep in some places. Just really shallow fish fish. Alrighty guys, just got my first fish of the day. Small, but a nice little rock bass. I love catching rock bass. <laughs> They're pretty awesome little fish. So I'll just get this little guy off. Alright, so that's a nice rock bass. It's actually pretty fat for, I mean, for a rock bass. But um, that's an awesome fish. I love catching these things. They look super cool. Look kind of like a bluegill or a sunfish. And a um, smallmouth mixed. And it has an orange eye. It's, I don't know. I can see it. Yeah, the camera angle is not getting it too good. But, um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching me catch my first fish. Love catching these little guys. Get back to when I catch another one. Alright, guys. I'm still walking this creek. But I put the camera away because there were some golfers at this bridge I was fishing. I didn't want to look like a weirdo. <coughs> Excuse me. And them, thinking they're, and them thinking that I'm talking to myself. So, I just put the camera away real quick. But, uh, I'll just make this... A uh, little walk to the time lapse and try to find a good hole. So honestly, guys, I haven't seen a spot in forever. I've I saw two carp the entire way here, and I've seriously walked like half a mile upstream. So try it out. Get back to you if I catch one. Alright guys, I just had a bite and I found a place where I can sit on my camera. So I am going to see what I can get. As you guys can see. He messed up my bait pretty bad. I think it might actually be a decent one. Unless it's a little tiny one. Just messing. Ew, I have a beetle on my leg. Just a little tiny one messing with uh, my bait. <laughs> and out of all the fish, out of all of the stinking fish, it's a bluegill. Okay. Oh, I think that there might be. Well, I'm just really by. But I think that there might be a small off in there. Off in there. 
it's on its bed, and then that thing just came out because I saw a small mouth to eat it the first time. All right, got my new rage curl. Back on. There we go. Mm, go. And it's another bluegill. Ooh. Oh my god. No freaking way. Oh my god, guys. Look at this. This is awesome. Alright. Hold on. Oh my god. The only reason I even do this is because I'm like, what the heck? And it has brown, I mean, um, orange eyes. This is a bluegill and a rock bass mixed. What the heck? I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh, look at all those black specks like a rock bass would have. And then they're also absolutely have... crazy. Can't believe that. It's awesome. That little guy go. Give you one last look at it. You guys can see those black specks. It's awesome. Alrighty. That's three fish. Woo. Ooh. Another bite. Man, I think these are bluegill. These are pretty big bluegill, honestly. And I haven't been taking too much stuff. I'm just gonna stay here. I think these are some fish or bluegill or whatever you guys call them where you guys live. I can catch it now. I'm getting bites every single time I throw this thing. I'm just still throwing that rage crawl on the neon yellow um jig head. Look at my jig head. It is just absolutely destroyed from all these rocks. How have you been using the same jig head the whole time? I mean, I've been snagging them all the time to the hook kind of been out. Plus, on top of that. Ooh, this is a decent one. Maybe not, maybe it's just a giant. This is a bluegill. Or something. Whatever you call these things. That is a big. Look, that's my face. That's a big sunfish. Ooh, jeez. As you guys can tell in this video, I'm not good at getting hooks out of fish's mouths. There you got it. All right, so I'm gonna go out here and uh, kind of take it sideways. Wow, straight catch. And it worked. Now look at this monster. Look at that rod bin, guys. Woo! That is a really... Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is the same fish, but this is the same rock bass sunfish mix. Because look, this is a really beautiful sunfish up head with this blue. Oops. The claw out of there. This blue head. And then it has a spot again. That is so creepy. Another, another hybrid one. They must be breeding a lot. Alright, I'll get this off and get back to you guys. Now look, this is no giant. Out of all my years of fishing, I have never seen such a thing with the black dots and the orange eyes. That is just awesome. Let's just see if I go and hopefully catch some more. Back to you guys when I catch another one. Hey, you actually, you guys can see it. That's gonna be awesome. Right, I'm gonna just try the same strategy of going and passing towards the rock. And then bring it in the camera. And really, when I'm doing this, I'm not getting too close to the hole, so it's not. Um, so I'm not scaring the fish.
thing, and maybe I was wrong about, I mean, this one doesn't have black spots, but it has orange eyes, so, I don't know if maybe all creek, um, bluegill or sunfish or whatever, have orange eyes, I've never seen them in ponds, but I don't catch it later, bluegill, but there's another one, big one, it's a slab of a bluegill, really. It seems like this strategy is working pretty well, so I'm just going to keep going with this one and see what it brings me. Hopefully, there's a big four pound smallie hiding in there trying to get on this blue gun. Okay, yes. Alright, this one you can see it way better. Okay, number one, look at how fat that thing is. And number two, oh my gosh, I can just see it like so vividly. I guess when you bring them out of the water, they start getting a different color, but it, it, there's so many black spots on this one. And they're darker, they're a lot darker. Look. That one, yeah, you can see them way better. That one has black spots on it and orange eyes, but it also is a bluegill. I don't know what's going on. I think these things are crossbreeding. This is actually pretty awesome. I'm gonna edit that part out. But when these guys came, I was talking. And I guess it scared these fish. But um, it was. They thought I was the weirdest person ever. For filming because I didn't know I was talking to the camera. But there's another one. Alright, guys. Well, my mom probably needs to call me. And I have 1% left on my phone. But I'm gonna make this fish a video. There's the specs. There, you can't see the bluegill body right now. There's the specs. And then look at how fat that is. But look, the head of a bluegill. The guy thought I was crazy. The guy drove by, I was like, yeah, it's like a rock bass and a bluegill. Ouch, he just hit me. He was like, there is, it's a rock bass and a bluegill mix. He's like, oh no, it's just a young rock bass. I've never seen a freaking rock bass. This looks like that. Thanks for the advice. Where got hooked pretty well. I don't know where he got hooked. There we go. That's not counting. I don't know how many that is. Alright, so I'm just going to keep pushing these big up. You guys can obviously see them. If I catch a really crazy one, I'll put pick the camera back up because I only have 1%. But if I... Catch a smallmouth or anything, I'm definitely gonna get that on camera. So I'll see you guys. Later.